Okay, girls, let's restart <laughs> our class after a long period of strike, yeah. big strike at Urca. But at least we got uh, some uh, positive results né? as the future selection for effectiveness teachers. Né? It would be good for our course uh, here at Urca. At least for the English language, because we are going to receive four, four teachers. Yeah, I think so. Four teachers in English. Do you have No, I want to try this concourse. In, 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 in May, the next May, uh, I am leaving work. But I'm going to try this concourse. Eh? You'll pass. Yeah, pass. I think so. I, I want to a lot. Let's start a lot. Okay. Uh, let's stand now. Uh, we are going to restart. I remember uh, looking at those videos that I, I put on YouTube from our classes that we stopped uh, before at the end of the chapter 2 in our book. Okay? So we are going to start now with the topic prosody in your book. Chapter 2, the end of chapter 2, okay? And we are going to discuss about three specific topics and very important topics uh, like dialects, accent, and intonation. Okay? In my opinion, it's the best subject from this book. Okay? It's very interesting because it involves, it involves sounds, uh, our speech, yeah? the way we speak uh, sentences, similar sentences. So the way we speak change uh, everything in the meaning, okay? So, let's try to understand what are those things. I brought some short videos to illustrate you uh, what is dialect and what is accent, okay? I'm going to show you these videos and after that we are going to come in, okay? Very fast. Yes, 19, January 19th. Okay, where is accent? Hmm. Não é esse. O outro que eu tinha colocado aqui. Cadê eles? Questões? Não. Aqui. Ok, here it's like a game where uh, the visitor in this case, Ben Affleck, has to uh, imitate uh, different accents. The accent, if you don't know, it's like syntax. Syntax from uh, England, United States, or other countries. Okay? So we are going to see <laughs> and try to perceive the differences between or among some uh, accents. Okay? That's, that's good. Esse o áudio aqui tá. Whatever I'm holding up, you're going to do the accent. I'm going to try to guess what it is. All right. All right. And they do. This is like celebrity, but you're going to hold up a card uh, above your head, and uh, oh, I'm going to do it first. And then you're going to whatever I'm holding up, you're going to do the accent. I'm going to try to guess what it is. All right. All right. And they do this to me because. I am so bad at accents. So, 45 seconds on the clock, go. <laughs> Master. What? <laughs> is that Italian? Yeah. You're as bad as I am. One of the things is that, um... Jersey. Yeah. Uh, Irish? A uh, pirate. A pirate. <laughs> one thing I can tell you, if I will tell you something... Southern. <laughs> Well, who's going to break you out of me? I'm not the same. Uh, we must make strategic arms relations uh, with the United States. Guess we must be So now I hold it up. Okay. Now you hold one up. 45 seconds. Okay. Go. Ah, lady. I need a da 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 da
say y'all a lot. New Orleans. That's right. That's good. That's how it's came up. That's my... Um, Amon! Uh, Jamaica. Yes! Uh, I'm married to her. She is from there. Now let's see a video about uh, intonation. Okay, uh, where is it? Okay, in this case, it's a, a piece of friends. I don't know if you, know. Hey, you guys, friends. Friends. Yeah. and this guy. Uh, has some kidney stones. Kidney stones, it's like similar, something similar to Pedalus Boots. Né? And he goes to the hospital to solve this problem. And uh, there, uh, he really uh, doesn't know what, he, what are kidney stones. Né? In this case, the doctor is going to explain, but the doctor is a, an Indian person and he speaks a different English, a different kind of English. Indian is like I uh, that, oh man, they have beat. Very strange, the Indian English. Okay? Uh, and we are going to see the different intonations the doctor tried to explain. The intonation is the melody, you use your voice. Okay? Let's see. Para explicar ele o que é kidney stone. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mr. Cribiani. I'm afraid you've got kidney stones. Uh, well, what else could it be? It's kidney stones. <laughs> or kidney stones. <laughs> if it was something else, that would be kidney stones. Did you know better, Steve? Uh, maybe a little. Wish you hadn't seen me throw up. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I just heard. What's up? Kidney stones. <laughs> now, ordinarily, Mr. Fribiani, we try to break the stones up with shock waves, but they're too close to the bladder now. Which means we can either wait for you to pass them, or else go up the urethra. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nothing is going up, okay? Up. Up is not an option. What's a urethra? <laughs> Previous class, I'm not sure, but I think so. Okay. Dialect is something like that. For example, in the United States, they have the word cast. Cast is like a lane. When they move, you are watching a movie, and the movie ends, we have those phrases or those names uh, uh, going up in the screen. So, uh, those names are the cast, the lane of films, or those are things. Okay? But British people don't say cast like America. They say cost, cost. And it is the same thing, LA, for both. Okay? But there's a problem because Americans say cost for another word like cush. 
So when when American person talks with a British person and says the word cost in British, one American could think about cost like to spend some money. Yeah, uh, the, the pronunciation is very similar. Okay, so it's a problem sometimes. <coughs> so dialect is the same word, but in different places this word has different meanings. If we use the example from Brazil and Portugal, we have dialects too. For example, if I came at Portugal looking for a fila, where is a fila do banco? Right? Where is the fun, uh, the, the banco? Só que não vai dizer, né? Se chegar lá em português, não vai falar inglês. Né? <risos> então, onde é a fila do banco? Né? O cara vai, em português lá, vai ficar constrangido, porque fila lá é homossexual, é gay, é, é, né? tem essa conotação. Então, fila aqui é uma linha que você segue para pagar uma conta, para precisar fazer um saque, enfim. Né? E lá não, fila lá é, tem essa relação com relacionada ao sexo. Né? Então, isso é um diálogo. This is a dialect. Então, so we have different dialects in different languages. English, Spanish, Spanish and Mexico, Argentina, they have dialect terms. Okay. But the most important thing we are going to study is called prosody. Prosody is the way you use your voice to express your intentions. To use prosody, you need to use some accent, your accent, so Alguém diz que me ajuda a me Accent, uh, excuse. Em português. Sotaque. Dá um branco assim, terrível. Né? A idade. Uh, seu sotaque, your accent, and your intonation together. So, the combination of intonation and uh, sotaque, accent, is a person. Ok? Because you can have one sentence, and you can use this sentence three or four ways different. Okay? Using irony, using a lot of uh, different forms. Let's see some examples. Okay? I spoke at utterance. Utterance is related to a situation, a context. Okay? I spoke at utterance consists of more than words in speech. Meanings are communicated not merely by what is said, but also by uh, the way it is said. Okay? So, uh, we have a problem when we read a text, for example, because the written texts are very limited of meaning. Okay? When we use our voice, we have a lot of different uh, combinations of intonation and, and, and accents that we can say different things. In a written text, it's more difficult to express those uh, intentions. Okay? Let's see clear examples. So, prosody is accent plus intonation. Intonation and accent together constitute the prosody. The meaningful elements of speech apart from the words that are uttered. The way you say something can change everything about meaning. Let's see as examples now. Uh, we have the same, the same sentence? No, no. We have this situation. This elderly man and this boy. And this boy is waiting at uh, the bus, but uh, he is very late. And he comes at the, the, the sidewalk and asks to him, ah, do, you, do you know if my bus passed uh, in a few minutes? And then, oh, I don't understand. Let's see the text, okay? Uh, the boy asks to the old man, has the Winston Street bus come yet? Right? His bus. And this guy says, sorry, I didn't understand. What did you say? The focus, the prosody, the intonation is focused here. What did you say? Because he didn't understand the content, what was said, okay? What did you say? So the intonation is here. We are going to use this same sentence with a different intonation. Pay attention. <coughs> here this man is talking to his wife. I'm afraid Fred didn't like the remark that I made, or I made. Ele está dizendo aí que ele está com medo de o amigo dele, o Mark, não ter gostado da, do anúncio que ele fez no jornal, como ele, da crítica que ele fez no jornal sobre o amigo, né? Um crítico. Ela diz, ó, oh, 
what did you what did you say? In this case, uh, the focus is what specifically he said. Okay? What did you say? And not what did you say? Depending on the focus you give, the intonation you said, you say different things. Okay? Third situation. This guy is talking about this man. Talking to this man. Some of my partners said they wouldn't accept these terms. And you? What did you say? Okay? In this case, the, the focus is on the person. Yeah? What is important to see what your, your opinion, not mine, or not hers, but you. What did you say now in this case? Okay? And the last one, uh, this guy says, you are misquoting me. Misquoting me, it's an expression used to say something like, Você não interpretou mal. Né? Você não entendeu o que eu quis que dizer. I didn't say anything like that. Eu saí bem irritado porque os caras lá ficam chateados com ele. Aí eu digo, né? Oh, what did you say? I confess that it's strange to explain this kind of intonation because we don't have auxiliaries in the Portuguese language. So we can't precise specifically what uh, the, the intonation here causes. What did you say? Okay. But uh, these four examples were only to illustrate the importance of our prosody. Okay. It's a very rich uh, mechanism that we can use to express what we want. So let's compare some prosodies now. Okay, the same sentences. What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? And what did you say? Okay. Four different situations from the same sentence. Okay. We produce all our spoken utterances with a melody or intonation by changing the speed, velocidade, uh, with which the vocal bands, vocal, uh, vocal cords, uh, in the throat, garganta, vibrate. We produce rising or falling pitch, or combinations of rise and fall. I'm going to explain this in Portuguese it's because we have some a lot of uh, technical terms. For example, uh, ele vai dizer aí que a melodia é a produção através da vibração das cordas vocais da garganta, né? Nós produzimos sons altos ou agudos, né, que é rising, ou sons baixos ou graves, que é os falls. Né? Que juntando essa combinação de rising e fall, a gente tem o pitch, que é o tom da voz que você usa para falar. Aqui no Brasil, na, na língua inglesa, não é muito comum se usar pitch, mas em línguas de origem é, oriental, como o chinês e o tailandês, eles não usam entonação, eles usam, na verdade, o pitch, que seria tom da voz, então eu posso dizer um yes, mais alto, mais fininho, ou um yes, mais grave. Então, dependendo do yes que eu dou, com o tom da minha voz mais grave ou mais alta, né, eu vou estar dando diferentes respostas. Então, você está dando uma resposta que você me perguntou, ou uma confirmação de uma localização, por exemplo. Então, veja como é outro artifício também bastante rico, que nossas línguas ocidentais não têm, né, mas que as orientais têm. Então, eles não usam muita entonação, como a gente usa, mas em contrapartida eles usam o peixe, que é a variação de, de, de voz aguda e grave, para dizer, para modificar o que eles querem falar, na verdade, o que eles querem é, é, explicar, tá? comunicar. Essa já foi. Ah, aqui eu tinha outro sobre informação, deixa eu passar rapidinho a minha cor. Esse aqui, é, this video, this, this girl é, left é, her apartment, é, their, é, their apartment, and they forget the keys, the door keys. And when they return, uh, she asks her, where, where are the keys? Aí she says, no, I heard that you said that you got the keys. Antes de sair, ela disse que eles continuaram a dizer que tinha que pegar as chaves. But she says, no, I said, got the keys, using the intonation, como se ela estivesse dizendo, pegue as chaves, antes de sair. Então, eu vou confirmar, eu achando que tinha que pegar a chave. Mas cada um usou a entonação que o outro não entendeu. Então vamos ver rapidinho. Bem interessante. Got the keys. 
Você vai lá onde você souber, não tem problema, ele ajuda. Vamos tirar a Alex e fazer a ponte com a Alex, ela é brasileira. Alex. Alex. Very good. Alex. 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 Alex
Very good. Okay, yeah, so uh, it's easy to perceive how information is important in the English language or in the Portuguese language. Okay? As I told you, <coughs> there are some languages that don't use intonation. They use the pitch. Faça um favor, se vocês não, não vão distrair também não. Só se apagar aqui, vocês me avisam, porque a bateria, às vezes ela apaga só. Eu tenho que ligar de novo. Por gentileza. Mas também vão ficar só com a caixa de sala dentro, viu? Estranho aqui, cara. É, in a tone language, we call those kinds of language like tone language. We call it in China and Thailand, they use the tone of the voice. Uh, you, they use the voice rising, rising, like... I would like to say that. Something will sum me out. Né? Or I would like to, to say that. Okay. Uh, you using a rising tone or a falling tone changes completely the meaning of the sentence you express. Okay? So let's see some examples. Uh, page tone or differences in the chain of page have a lexical form. Change completely the function, the lexical, lexical function. Sorry. Words with different meanings are distinguished only by the difference of pitch or tone of the voice. Intonation does not have the function or differentiating yeah, <coughs> mechanism. So, uh, intonation is not important to those languages, to tone languages. Okay? Let's see. <coughs> For example, if I say yes, Using the pitch, rising or falling pitch, we have situations like yes, yes. I'm saying it's a no, but it's in the pitch. Yes, this is the place. It's like some vegetable in the China, right? Fala bem a colheria. Yes, this is the place. Oh yes, this is the place. Pergunta, na verdade, né? Então explica aqui. Quando você usa a falling tone grave, né, do yes. Esse yes vai ter um sentido de resposta a alguma pergunta que você fez. Mas você mora no crato? É meio. Terror, né? O filme de terror. Assim. <risos> ok, mas é algo de respeitar o pente deles, né? É um com seus pente. Né? Ok, é, então é uma resposta, simplesmente uma resposta afirmativa. Mas quando você usa o yes, um, 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 um mais rising, um mais alto, um mais agudo, Né? Você está dando uma confirmação, geralmente, de um destinatário, de localização. Então, veja como muda completamente o sentido. Então, não é mais entonação. É o tom da voz que eles usam, tá? Muito bem. Então, vamos lá. Tem vários exemplos que vocês vão ver na postilha.